Breaking news at 6. The turmoil inside the White House apparently boiling over tonight. Chief of Staff Reince Priebus is out. President Donald Trump announcing his replacement one hour ago on Twitter. The bombshell announcement capping what's been a week of very public infighting coming from within the West Wing of the White House. Now, here are the tweets from President Trump. They read, quote, I am pleased to inform you that I have just named General Secretary John F. Kelly as White House Chief of Staff. He is a great American and a great leader. John has also done a spectacular job at Homeland Security. He has been a true star of my administration. I would like to thank Reince Priebus for his service and dedication to his country. We accomplished a lot together, and I am proud of him. Right now, it's not known as if Priebus was fired, was asked to resign, or chose to resign on his own. But in a profanity-laced interview with New Yorker magazine, the new White House communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, unloaded on Priebus, calling him a, quote, paranoid schizophrenic and saying he'd be asked to resign very shortly. Here's the president just moments ago. Reince is a good man. John Kelly will do a fantastic job. General Kelly has been a star, done an incredible job thus far, respected by everybody, a great, great American. Reince Priebus, a good man. Thank you very much. Okay, let's take you right now to Washington and CBS 4 Seth Lemon is live on Capitol Hill. Seth, I take it that this was not a total surprise given the comments that have been made recently about Reince Priebus. Elliot, yeah, there, there has been some rumor that there was a, a, a shakeup coming in the White House, and we thought we saw some of that last week. But, of course, with all the turmoil and the tension that's been boiling over here, this was not anticipated, especially not on a Friday evening as the president was returning from a trip to New York. That tweet from the president came out pretty much as he touched down, and the bombshell news shaking up the White House here. We're, we're seeing that the communications staff, their offices are, are kind of being emptied out. So we're not sure if there are more departures or more resignations since we're not sure of how to qualify them at this point that could come. But definitely some major changes happening here at the White House. Absolutely. And tell us about John Kelly. We know he has a military background. He has been the uh, Secretary of Homeland Security. Is there any reaction right now in Washington or is it too fresh, this news about him uh, getting the job? Just as quickly as those tweets came out, we're actually getting statements from some of the congressmen uh, over on Capitol Hill, many of them expressing how much uh, they actually appreciate General Kelly and the work that he's been doing as the Secretary of Homeland Security and how he has the respect of the rank and file. And many are excited for him to bring those leadership skills here to the White House. Now, they also uh, all have been thanking Reince Priebus for his service to the country. But at this point, many of them are focused on on, uh, who will be replacing him in his role as the Secretary of Homeland Security. Of course, that's something that's going to need congressional confirmation, so that's what they're focused on now. Seth Lemon, keeping us up to date on this late-breaking story. Uh, Seth, thank you for that live report.